happening? Oh my God, it's such a pleasure to be standing on this stage in front of everybody here. If I come to you, please say, yes, I can relate to that, or no, Lisa, I cannot relate to what you're talking about. Because if you can't relate to it, it means this message is going on for somebody else. Oh, okay, so I'm just going to start. Okay. <clears throat> huh. Hmm. Yes, one with a hat. Okay, let me come up to you. Hi, I think I'm coming to you. Yeah. How you doing, Lisa? Hi. Okay. Why am I here? Can you relate to a young man that's in spirit? Mm -hmm. Like a brother figure? Right. Yeah? Okay. Because would he happen to be your brother? Yeah, because he keeps saying, I'm your brother, I'm brother, I'm brother. I'm like, okay. You shared a lot, does that make sense? You did a lot together. We did everything together when we were younger. And these are happy memories for him. Now, he wants to say hello to Mom. She's sitting right here. Hello, Mom. And he's just said, Mom, I'm so sorry. He loves you very much. He passed very, very quickly. Can you relate to this? And Dad had passed before him, am I right in yes. saying that? Yes. Because he keeps saying, Dad is with me. And he keeps telling me that he was warned, all right? And there was a feel. oh, I've gone all chilly. There was a feeling that he was warned. And he's so sorry. Did he get him mixed up in the wrong people? Because yeah, he's showing me yes, that he was, yeah. it, he placed himself in he danger. Did. Because he was a fool. He should have listened. Because he's going, I should have listened. I should have listened. Can you relate to this? Yes. And I feel there was a lot of, I don't know whether it was drugs or alcohol, but I feel as though it was a whole thing. Was he a member of the gang? He mixed up in the wrong crowd. Did he get shot in the head? Yes, he did. Because yes. I just keep feeling like it was, yeah, I know, I feel here. He was murdered in the drive-by shooting. Half of his head was blown off. I'm sorry. He's pacing, he's like, oh, and it, it, it's, it's like he's getting really angry. Do you know who Jim is? Oh, God. Who's Jim? Jimmy's, he left right after it happened. He moved away. I'm sorry, Mum. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me whatever you want. Well. I want to know, is he with my daughter because she just died too? Okay. Did your daughter have blonde hair? Yes. Because here she comes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's a little one, isn't she? She's just like swan down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's glamorous. Hi. <laughs> and she's smiling and she's radiant. Is the only, And I look up there and forgive me for ignoring you, but I look up there because she's at the top of the stairs. And she's... She's elegant. She's got this glow about her. She's telling you that she's okay. Has she been gone two for two, I don't know whether it's two weeks, two months? About, About two, two months. months. All right, because I keep being shown she's been gone two. She had cancer. But I'm telling you now, she's jumping up and down and telling you she's fine. She was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and she's so funny. And she's happy and she's fine. She needs you to know that, okay? So I'm going to leave you with Thank that, Thank you okay? so much. Oh, I think tonight you've got your answers. The Jimmy is the thing. He was at the hospital before we were, yeah. and then he just moved out of town. So we thought he either knew who did it and was afraid or... You know, I, I have to be honest, I didn't believe. I didn't believe, but I sat here and I, and I hoped for my mom. <laughs> and everything you said, you're 100% on, and I mean, I just... This is a life-changing experience. You've, you've changed all of our lives. <laughs> well, can you tell my mom I'm okay? Does that mean anything? I'm here. Okay, I understand you're here. Okay. 
There's a little boy who wants to connect with his mommy. Can anyone relate to this? You can. And you can relate to this as well. Are you mum? Yes. So I'm not sure which way I'm coming. Did this boy pass when he was very young? Maybe four or five? Yes. Okay, excuse me, I'm, I'm up here, okay. I'm gonna come for a wander and come and speak to you. Do you put a teddy bear in the coffin with him? Can you yes, I did. You did? Okay. Yeah. Just a little teddy bear, because he keeps showing me that he's got it, and he's saying, Mum, I'm okay. And what he's just said to me, he's going to be there when it's your time. Because he's saying to me that you've been questioning whether you, he's going to be there when it's your time to go. Do you want to come stand with her? There. Since this is my daughter. Hello, daughter. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Now, there is also a gentleman that is very dear who keeps coming close to you as well. Now, whether this is a husband or a friend of yours, but there's a very close male figure who's coming forward, do you know? Probably I feel dad. like I'm talking about your dad. Did he have problems with his hips? Because suddenly, I just felt like I was a bit on a skateboard. Yeah. And yeah. he's so sweet. He is a handsome man. Yeah. But is he very cautious very about his hair? Yes. He was always combing the hair over because he had yeah. a little bald spot. Right. <laughs> he was very self-conscious of it. I feel yes. it was shiny. Thank you. Yes. He's telling me that he's waiting for you. You're not that you're going to be going anywhere soon. Oh, he'll be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he'll and you know what? They're giving you flowers. They're giving you flowers. Fresh and ones. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say a very nice goodbye you from your husband. Much. And I okay. Thank you very, very yeah. much. Oh. Okay. So, who am I going with? Who's George? Was George a brother? Okay. Yes. Because he's just said, I'm the brother. Yes, he was. Okay. And do you want to stand oh. up? Okay. He's, he passed too young. Very young. And he, she, he just keeps telling me how there was a feeling of a breakdown of communication, how you didn't speak. Right. That's was there a feeling of getting killed? Because he just keeps showing me he got killed. That's what we're not sure of. Okay, I think you've got your answer. Why is it always left to me to give bad news? I'm sorry. But well, that's okay, because we, we didn't know. Now, his mum passed on as well. Yes. Because he keeps bringing mum here well. with me. Can I tell you that they've made amends? Okay. Mum was hard. She was evil to people. She was evil to you. She was evil to the family. Can you relate to this? Yes. And she's sorry for the abuse. And I'm really sorry to put this to you. And I know it's a very de delicate situation. I need to come over here. She's sorry. Come and stand with me. Come and stand with me. Come on. Are you okay? Yeah. I was looking for my brother, but not my mother. <laughs> but, I don't have but control. She, she's way overdue. I think so. Yeah. Okay. She's saying, I didn't tell you how sorry I was because she didn't see what she was doing. And it was all up here. And it was as though there was a mental... The only way she's telling me is she was twisted up here. And that is her words. Yeah. You would never have heard those words out of her mouth no. in her life. But she's showing me that there's been justice since she's been passed over in either 20 years, I don't know how long it's been. But she's showing me that she's sorry. And she's showing me that the fact is that you are who you are because of her. You have changed things. You have changed the pattern, you broke the family pattern. She's blaming her dad. But I feel she would always lay blame Thank on you. someone. Yep. And it's as though she can't accept the blame, but she's aiming the blame on someone else. Yep. And she's sorry, but she's sorry for her to you as a little girl. All right? And she's showing me that it was... Okay. I need a grandmother that figure that's coming in here. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. 
your grandmother and your mother keep telling me it was all up here. They played mind games. Oh. They played a lot of mind games. I mean, no kidding. And your grandmother, she's standing by your mother. Oh, boy. And she's showing me that she supported your mother. Yeah, she did. Even though they caused so many problems in the family, you were still a good person by giving them the send-off that actually you felt they deserved. And they're taking their hat off to you. This is so important that they're saying thank you. And your mum would never say thank you. No, she didn't. Well, she's saying thank you. Thank you. She's been on this way for three years. You've been waiting for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Sit down.